All right, this is about my 2000 watt inverter. As you can see, I have it mounted right there. And I'm gonna go on the inside and show you how I've got the, the cables going. This one, of course, is the positive. And this one down here is the negative. And as you can see here, this is the, the front side of it. The cables go down. Remember the yellow one's the positive and it's connected to the positive side. I had to remove this thing right here to get to the battery, this and this plastic cover right here. And I just uh, put it onto the battery right there. One side's positive, one side's negative. And this extension cord right here is what powers my four freezers. Go to the back then here. The cord, the yellow cord comes down and connects to this, which has got the freezers plugged into it. And then this, this gray cord right here, these two right here, go to the two freezers that are right here. This gray one cuts across and connects to that. And that's got the two freezers that are on this side of my ice cream truck and it powers those two. All right, here is the app for that uh, inverter that I have, the 2000 watt inverter. As you can see right here, it's putting out 12.1 volts. That's because I'm parked. 74% battery life. Um, I've been working so far for three hours and 40 minutes. That's how long since I've turned on the app itself. So I've only been 15 minutes. What time is it? Oh, it's almost been 30 minutes that I've been sitting here uh, parked and I'm only at 74% battery life But you gotta you have to know that I've got two 12 volt batteries on this van because it's a diesel so I've so That's why I've got so much battery life left and if I click on this you can see it's putting out 120 volts If I go to power You can see I'm putting out 205 watts right now, and I've got four freezers back there, so only maybe two of them are on right now, I do believe. And then I can go to this overview. There it goes. And you can see, you know, battery life, voltage, you know, all the stuff on one page instead of having to click back and forth. So this is really a, um, I'm happy I got this. This is a good deal. I'm going to go back to this. And... Okay, now as you can see when I start the engine... I'm only idling, but if I were to give it some gas here, see what it does there. Still puts out 120 volts. There we go.